Um, next, I'm going to you. But now we, we're heading out of the area. This um, You spent your last year, uh, September month or a little bit more in, uh, in Spain making bubbly in, in the sort of Carva area. But I know that there's a whole story that goes into that. So can you maybe just tell us about your experience in Spain and how this grape variety works in, in bubbly? Mm. Yeah, just a correction, Kathy. I actually just went to uh, to Spain for holiday. The harvesting was just a side effect. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's what <laughs> you, you should have told us before we sent you there. <laughs> so you've got no leave left for the well, next. Well, year. yeah. If I if I told you, you wouldn't have sent me. So. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. No, look. Um. Um. They. At, at Gramona, they handle the makab um, quite similarly to uh, to the Manglia. They also pick very early the uh, for spark for the kava or the korpi nut. Sorry, they don't they don't use the term kurp, um, kava anymore. But yeah, they pick at about ten and a half uh, potential alcohol. And as uh, Rafa mentioned earlier, the the acid drops quite rapidly very quickly. So within a week, you lose about one and a half grams of acid in soft, measured in sulfuric acid. Um, and then they also produce a still wine, uh, which they pick slightly riper at about 12 and a, 11 and a half to 12 uh, potential alcohol. Um, and uh, with the Corpi nut being in place now, uh, I don't know what we call uh, legislation being in place now, they but they actually just the the main variety in that blend is is uh, Cerello and then a tiny bit of uh, Macabeo and uh, Pariada is the other variety and they only allow about fifteen percent of either Chardonnay or um, Pinot Noir. So so for everybody looking at this map, there's um, in the Spain area on the top left there, there's a little brown smudge which is the Penedes, which is where Cava is and what. Nathan explained was Copinut is basically a group of uh, I think nine producers who've broken away from um, Carver because it's been a big debate whether you're for so, it or against it yeah. but you can see where Barcelona is in the red. Just, just, just to add on um, I was actually based in this small little town um, in the middle called if you can see, clo oh, um, see closely it's uh, San Sadurni da Noia. I was based there that's where Gramona is based. Yeah, that's to the north west of Barcelona. Yeah. That's correct. Small little town. Kind of like some poor. Yeah. While you're on Babli. Makab being a prominent variety in the, the Kava or the Kurpina. Uh, we, we actually also have a sparkling wine that we produce at the Manglia, um, which consists of Chardonnay, uh, Makabeo, Makab and uh, Carignan. Um, and it's based on the, uh, the Kava model. But we just wanted to mention that uh, the Domaine Greer Babli also has um, some Makabo or Makabeo. <laughs> um, and then you can see the rest of our Domaine Greer range there too, um, which are all available from, from Valero's tasting room and online.